Now, there's been some controversy over how to fight the Zika problem. One solution is using genetically modified mosquitoes, which is controversial in itself. News 13's Jackie Brockington takes a look into the issue. The Entomology Society of America conference is going on here in Orlando. It's a big meeting of bug doctors. And one big question they're trying to answer is how to find Zika, since there is no vaccine for it. One company, Oxitec, that is producing genetically modified mosquitoes, says this is the way to go. We don't just go forward and do this on our own volition. Uh, we were asked by the Florida Keys Mosqu Mosquito District in, uh, in the US to do this. And in Brazil, the uh, mosquito control um, abatement authorities have also asked us to do that. And and to make sure it's it, it's safe and it, and it has no environmental impact. So basically, the process is to produce offspring that die before growing into mature adults. Only the male mosquitoes are released into the wild. That's because males don't bite, only females bite and transmit the disease. Once the genetically modified male mates with the female who passes on the deadly gene, that gene then spreads to the larvae. The larvae are then unable to grow into adults. As a public health entomologist, as a lifelong scientist, as someone who has studied the Oxitec technology, the genetically modified uh, organism technology of the, the mosquitoes that they're using, uh, tested it for 15 years. I've been pretty impressed with it. Uh, I have seen no uh, evidence that there is uh, a real risk. One person who attended the conference wasn't convinced and fears what could happen if this program is allowed in the Florida Keys, where Oxitec is trying to start a pilot program there. I think when people know that they are genetically engineering mosquitoes with different types of proteins and DNAs from E. coli to the herpes virus to the fruit fly to a moth. Um, I don't know if people necessarily are going to want that Jurassic Park mosquito in our backyard. The one thing that was clearly stated by Grayson Brown is that the one thing about the GMO mosquito technology is that it is pretty well vetted in the scientific community and the results have been made public. Um, what is it about the genetically modified mosquitoes that, 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 that you guys object to? Uh, essentially, the new technology of genetically modified mosquitoes that they are trying to roll out um, has unintended consequences that we really can't predict. Uh, we're not sure that they're safe, and um, uh, they're also not wanted. Um, this is not very known throughout the public. It's not really in conversation right now. Most people that you talk to don't know that genetically modified mosquitoes are about to be released in the Keys and that they're talking about releasing them in other places as well. Uh, I think when people know that they are genetically engineering mosquito with different types of proteins and DNAs from E. coli to the herpes virus to the fruit fly to a moth, um, I don't know if people necessarily are going to want that Jurassic Park mosquito in our backyard released into the wild with unintended consequences and risks that we're not aware of. Uh, that is the main issue, I think, um, with the with the genetically modified mosquitoes. Is it the is it the worry um, of the you know the consequences? Because I mean, yeah, there's regulations and they have you know things that they're supposed to follow and, and do, but right until I guess from your point of view, until they're actually released in the wild, no one really knows exactly what's going to happen. Right, and I don't think that people want to be that guinea pig for that experiment um, releasing this this foreign uh, species, this new mosquito, into the wild. We don't know if it's going to, um, you know, wipe out another, well, one species of mosquito and then another one replaces it that is more invasive and more dangerous, maybe more uh, illness carrying. Um, the other, there's another big problem with this, and it's not just the uh, genetically modified mosquito um, technology. It's the company that's doing this, it's Oxitec. This British, com British company has been caught lying three times now. Um, they have lied to the public about releasing females, about whether these mosquitoes would survive into past adulthood, and they've also lied about um, uh, whether or not that this would wipe out one mosquito and create another one. And even though they've been called out and admitted to the lies, I attended the presentation this morning at the Orange County Convention Center, and they continued to lie to the attendees of that mosquito conference and said that they wouldn't be releasing females. So this company cannot be trusted. Um, they opened a secret lab down in Marathon, Florida that the public did not know of. They spent a lot of money on, in a, and I think it was opened in a public building. So the, uh, the uh, interest of this company may not be for our health and safety. It may be for selling their mosquito product, and that is another major concern. Um, 
what do you hope occurs? Uh, I hope that the public becomes more informed about this issue because right now they're not and um, we have a more of a, a, a larger discussion on this because not only do we have issues with the mosquitoes and the company, but we have the solution as well. There are many solutions that we can implement at home um, by removing standing water, screens, nets, um, essential oil repellents. Uh, there's safer alternatives. There's something the University of Kentucky is working on called Wolbachia that is a natural alternative to, to stop these mosquito-borne illnesses. So we have solutions out there that don't have such unintended consequences and so many risks associated with them and a shady company behind it. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I just uh, encourage people to look into this more. Um, check out GMO Free Florida and the Facebook page for that and also the Facebook page Never Again. Some very dedicated citizens down there have been uncovering some things about uh, the genetically modified mosquitoes and Oxitec down south. All right. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it.